Uh, hey everyone, Scott of the Scott Man, and we are here in Detroit, Michigan today. And this video, we're gonna be doing a, I don't wanna really say a walking tour, because we're not gonna be doing a lot of walking in this video, but we're gonna be doing like, basically a riding tour, because what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be doing a ride on the Detroit People Mover today. So if you're walking around downtown Detroit, if you see this elevated platform, it looks like a platform for like a monorail, that's for the Detroit People Mover. It is the, it's like a monorail which goes around downtown Detroit in a circular loop. It takes about 20 minutes to do a full loop. And we're gonna take the entire loop today. So we're starting off the video over here by the Detroit Renaissance Center. This should be a good view because the sun's not quite, oh yep, so you can see the towers for the Renaissance Center. And we're gonna do a full ride today. So the Detroit People Mover has 13 different stops all throughout downtown Detroit. So the People Mover first started construction around 1983 and was completed in 1987. So it's been around for just a little bit longer than I have been alive. So you can go inside the Detroit Renaissance Center right over here. I'm trying to see if I can get into the people mover from the outside, because you can get to the people mover from inside the Renaissance Center. And yeah, oh, I might be able to catch this one, but there is one of the cars right now. So it's making a stop right now here at the Renaissance Center. And yeah, I can, looks like I can access it from outside. So I don't have to be inside the Renaissance Center, but there is direct access into the Renaissance Center. Cause yeah, that's where the, yeah, currently the GM headquarters are located. There's different stores in there, some restaurants. And there's also a Marriott hotel inside the Renaissance Center too. So you can, so it's like you want to, let's say you go from the Renaissance Center to like Greek Town or something, you can just take the people mover straight over. For the, uh, for the longest time, the people mover has been 75 cents a ride and you had to pay with quarters. There is no, no like electronic way to really pay, at least not for what I can remember. However, starting in 2024, it is absolutely free to ride. They made it free for everyone to ride. I don't know if they're gonna continue that beyond 2024, but at least for the rest of this year, it's gonna be free to ride. Just like the other public transportation method here is also free as well. Okay, looks like I can't get in from over there, so. Yeah, I've never got on the people mover from outside right over here before. So, kind of learning as I go. So, I need to get back over here on Jefferson. Yeah, I got a nice view of the skyline over here. And who knows, worst case scenario, I may have to go inside. Because the access to the people mover from inside the Renaissance Center, you just go up to the second floor. Okay, I don't see I don't see public access out here. I think they have something in case of an emergency. So we're gonna have to go inside. Head up to the second floor to do that. So we'll go, yeah, so we'll head on into the Renaissance. So we'll get to see a little bit of it. And yeah, I can just go in where she is. So it will be cool is as we head inside on the way to the people mover. Is that you can even see some of the new cars that they have for that GM's been putting out. So we just have to go in here. We'll talk a little quieter because we're inside. Just have to, just have to remember to. 
All right, I just got to figure out where I'm going. Okay, got to keep going. One of these days I should do like a, maybe like a walk around in the Renaissance Center. So, so what I'm probably gonna do, just so I, this video doesn't drag on for too long, I'm gonna go ahead and Yeah, normally they have more escalators open to go up, but right now, oh no, here's one right here. Well, yeah, we'll keep this going. This is, this shouldn't take too long. Okay, so we'll just head on up. Go back on me for a second. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, if you're trying to get in, like, to the people mover station from the from the Renaissance Center. If you're coming in from the outside on Jefferson, yeah, you just basically do like what I do, go through the main entrance, come into the central corridor, and then take up one of these escalators, come around this way, and then, yeah, so if you look at the sign there, yeah, follow the sign where it says the Millinder Center, because it also shows people move and also where the courtyard by Marriott's located. So you turn over this way, And then at the fork here, we just make a right turn. And this will take us straight over to the people mover. But yeah, what I might do is in case people just want to watch the people mover segment, I might add like an annotation at the beginning of the video so that way people want to skip ahead just to the people mover, they can do that and skip this part. But yeah, so yeah, before, as I was saying, you, used to be, you, have to, you, have to pay, you had to pay to ride it, but they've made it zero fare, so you don't have to worry about sliding any cars or paying with any coins or anything. So you just come on through. And yeah, it's showing like when they operate the, the people mover. It's cool that they have it in different languages like English, Arabic. Okay, it's not changing, but yeah. And then yeah, it's, and then on the people mover, yeah, there's no smoking, you don't eat and you don't drink on it. And yeah, this is pretty cool work of art here too. Kip, so this opens automatically and we're kind of back outside again. So to get up to the people, to the level of the people mover, we're gonna have to go up one level. And then we can take this escalator up I think you can also take, there's also separate stairs over that way too. So the good news is we had to wait a while until the next car. So the little walk through the Renaissance Center definitely helped pass the time a little bit. Oh, the next train's coming in the next minute. So we timed this very well. Kip, so we're at the Renaissance Center station here. And then, so yep, yeah, here is the boarding platform. And one thing, yeah, you definitely want to stay away from the from the yellow line because you don't want to get too close or anything. But yeah, from up here, we can get a good view just staying far enough back. Look at the city, just absolutely beautiful. And it's a beautiful day here in Detroit as well too. So perfect day to film this video for you guys. And you can see, The hotel for Greek Town, all the way over there. So what? So the the train goes counterclockwise around downtown Detroit, and you can even see one of the trains over there. 
It's at that station over there, over by where the courtyard by Mary is located. What we'll see momentarily is that the, the train we're going to be boarding will be approaching this station. And kind of like with any city that has public transportation, you will want to let other people get off first, and then that's when you can board. And then just stay back behind the yellow line, as I was saying, just mind the gap. Yes, I'm using London underground terms here. <laughs> And here comes the train. I'm gonna see if I can get something toward the front of the train so that way I can see a little bit better, but we'll wait and see. I may I might have to just try to film what or get on where I can. Oh yeah, this is perfect. So we'll go ahead and we'll get on here. So we'll let them get off first. And then we'll go ahead and we'll hop out, hop aboard. Yep, so we can, they got plenty of seats available or you can just stand up like I am. That way we can get some cool views from here the, in the people mover. And yeah, we got all the different stops you can stop at. We'll be first heading over to Bricktown, then Greektown, then the Cadillac Center, then Broadway, then Grand Circus Park, then Times Square, then Michigan, then Fort Cass, then Huntington Place, and West Riverfront, then Financial District, then the Millinder Center. The station is Bricktown. And then we'll come back over. And there, yep, there's Jefferson Avenue. Yeah, this is very awesome, I have to say. Try to look out the window here. But yeah, it's really cool that here in 2024, it is absolutely free to ride this. Okay, and we're approaching the first station. This is for Bricktown. This is the Bricktown station. So what we'll do is uh, see if I can try to get a little closer to the train, this to the train front. This I, I want to kind of need to stay a little bit away from the door, so that way because it is an emergency exit, so I don't want to block it, really. So we'll, so we'll, we'll get a front end view this time because we're next to head over to the Greek Town Station. The Greektown station is not very far from Bricktown. You almost could walk between the two stations, but this is convenient if it's a rainy day or, or it's snowing outside. And then to get over to Greektown, you just take the, the, the walk bridge over there and you'll head straight over to Greektown. And of course, Greektown, you got the, you got the casino. I think this it, is the Greektown I think station. We just, it's like, I think we just call it Greektown, but it's like Hollywood Casino technically is the true name. But there's also some great Greek restaurants over here too. Like a Pegasus Taverna, for example. So I'm gonna stand over here because we'll get a good view of Greek town from over here. So this is Monroe Street, this is where Greek town is located. Yep, Greek Town Casino Hotel. You could even briefly see that mural of Stevie Wonder, but only for like a maybe like a split second. And now we're going along Rashid Avenue. Then yep, here's the next station, which yeah, this is the uh, the Cadillac Center. I'm gonna stand over here this time. This is the Cadillac Center station. And then we got the station on the left side this time. So 
So we're going to get some good views of downtown, uh, more of downtown Detroit. We need to be on the left side this time. And the stop after this. So th anyway, this is Cadillac Center. And next we're going to head over to the Broadway station. And what's nice about these trains too, especially in the summer, it, this train is air conditioned. So a nice, comfortable ride while you sit down or stand up like I'm doing. Okay, guess where the cake is? Good view is as, as I thought. Broadway. Oh well. Oh, we're just going right by the the old Hudson site where they're building the new skyscraper. It'd be really cool when it's done. Oh. <laughs> and if we're going along Woodward at well, parallel with Woodward Avenue right now. And then here's the Broadway station over by Broadway and over by Grand River here. Or actually, I don't. No, this is John R. Sorry. <laughs> this is the Broadway station. And yeah, there's the the Element Hotel, and then toward the top there, I believe there's a really nice rooftop bar where you get some really cool views of the city, especially at night. Okay, so next we're going to go to Grand Circus Park, and that's going to be over by Woodward Avenue. And over there, we'll be, we might be able to get some good views of Comerica Park and Ford Field. So we're going to stand over to the right this time. The next station is yep. Grand Circus Park. Oh, and then really quick, yeah, there's a nice Buddy's Pizza over here, too. Yep, okay, so there is Comerica Park. It gives you see a little bit of Ford Field. Grand Circus Park is right here on both sides of Woodward Avenue. You see Little Caesars Arena all the way down there. This is the closest station to like the Fox Theater, Comerica Park, Little Caesars Arena. This is the Grand Circus Park station. Yeah, beautiful view here. Okay, we're gonna go over to the oh. oh you can even see a little bit of Motor City Casino off in the distance too. But we're gonna move over to the left side this time. Yep. Okay. Got Washington Boulevard over here. Very cool view, I have to say. The next station is Times Square. Okay, we'll go ahead and move back over. Yep, Motor City Casino is way off in the distance there. Looks like some renovations are going on over there. Yep, so we're approaching the station for Times Square. This is where you got all the different all the different bus stops for the city of Detroit, and not too far away, back over on Washington, there's this even the, the Times Square. The bus will take you. The, the bus will take you over to like the the airport. How y'all doing? Is uh, President Trump supposed to be in today? Do y'all know? Don't know. I've heard that yesterday. No. <laughs> We're going to carefully get over to the front again, because, I mean, because yeah, there's, the, there's the, bus, the bus depot for all the different buses around here in Detroit. The next station is Michigan Avenue. Yeah. Here comes the next 
station. This is for Michigan Avenue. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it was a little too late, but yeah, you can see, you can see Washington Boulevard Michigan over there. Over here, we might be able to get some views of downtown Detroit. Oh, yeah. The next station is Port Cass. And yep, there. All over there, you can even see where Lafayette and American Coney Islands are located. So, this is Port Cass Station on our right there. Stand back over to the front again. So then, yeah, the next station we're we'll going to be going to the Huntington Place, which used to be Cobo Hall back in the day. It's the it's the big convention center here in downtown Detroit, and this is also where every January they have the the North American International Auto Show too. So we're going inside here. So this is really cool. Like we're in a we're in a nice little tunnel here. You can't really it's like technically you're seeing me right now. You're seeing me in the reflection. <laughs> That's all right though. It looks kind of looks kind of spooky. What do you think of it? All right, so now we're coming back outside. It's a little blurry, but... And yep, that is where the Joe Louis Arena used to be. Looks like now they're building a new residential complex here. And yeah, some of the best views of the city are right here. Okay, so technically this is West Riverfront Station. It looks like they skipped Huntington Place today. This is the West Riverfront Station. But I think there is an event at the Huntington Place today, so that's probably why they're maybe they're not stopping. I, I have no idea why, but but we're not too far away, though. Because, yeah, Huntington Place is right there. And, of course, then you got really cool views of downtown Detroit. So we're going to move back over to the front. And there is the Detroit River and Windsor, Ontario, Canada on the other side. And then you can also see the Detroit River Walk, one of the most beautiful river walks in the United States. So we're heading over to the Financial District Station next, and look at this view. Yeah, trying to adjust the visibility a little bit, so I apologize for some of the blurriness a little bit. And there is the Detroit Renaissance Center. You can see the, you can see the Detroit Princess. Downtown Windsor, and you can see the Ambassador Bridge, and as well as the, the new Gordy Howe Bridge off in the distance. They're still constructing that, but it should be complete by the fall of next year. Oh, I'm trying to navigate. Around. So, yep, and there is Hart Plaza, and the and the fountain in Hart Plaza is finally running after a long decade of not being in operation. And Pierce Jefferson Avenue, got the views of the Renaissance Center. 
What a view over here. Okay, now we'll get back over here. So if this is the financial district stop. So if you're going to the spirit this is the financial district. So if you're going station. to if you're going to the spirit of, of Detroit stat the spirit of Detroit statue, or if you're going over to like Har yeah, again, like Hart Plaza, or if you're going the opposite direction to the left, going over toward the, where Lafayette and American Coney Islands are, this is a good stop to get out at because you're over here at Larned and Griswold. So, as you go over Woodward Avenue block from here, you'll be able to see the Spirit of Detroit statue. And then I'm going to try to really quick hand the camera to the left to show down Woodward. So, I'm going to try to move this kind of fast. So, kept Spirit of Detroit is over there. And then, oh, <laughs> come over here. And that is Woodward Avenue. You can see Campus Marshes Park all over there. Very cool. So the next stop will be the Millender Center, which is the stop before we have made a full circle. You got the historic Wayne County Courthouse over there. At least we, at least we can see the top of it. Oh, we're, we got lucky here. This is the... Center. There we go. I'm trying to adjust the visibility here. Yep, and there's the Detroit Windsor Tunnel. That's one of the crossings going over into Canada. Over here at the corner of Jefferson and Randolph. Okay, and then we'll be approaching our final destination, which is basically the full circle. Yep, yep there's the Renaissance Center, and that's our next stop, and that's we're going to be getting off that, which is basically where we started this video. But I'm going to go ahead and continue to one more station. I'm going to go over to the Bricktown station. So we've made a full circle to the Renaissance Center. This is the Renaissance Center took So it took us about roughly 10 minutes to get over, or 20 minutes to get back over here. So, so I'm gonna go ahead to the. Hey, where's the driver? Yeah. So we'll go one more station. We'll get get out at Bricktown. Get closer to my destination. The next station is Bridgetown. here at Bricktown and then we'll go ahead, we'll go ahead and we'll get off here. This is the Bricktown station. Why did you make this so complicated? Why did you accept the restaurant? I did. That's what he's doing. All right. So, so we just got off the people mover here. It's like, the, it's like, it's like they got a total of two cars which runs in a circular direction, counterclockwise direction. And as you can tell, it wasn't too crowded today, but then again, there aren't, I think there is an event going on at Huntington Place, but other than that, nothing, anything too major. Compared to two weeks ago where like the Detroit Grand Prix was going on. So like trains are approximately, they're like every seven to 10 minutes, the next train, if I wanted to get on it, it's like in six minutes. 
But yeah, this is a nice view of the city right here. But we're, we're yeah, I don't want to get too close to the yellow. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start wrapping up this video here. So this was a ride along for the people mover. Although the, I will say the first several minutes of this video was me walking through the Renaissance Center to get to the Renaissance Center station. <laughs> but but I'll, I'll add an annotation or something if people want to skip ahead to the actual people mover. But it was a very fun ride. And again, it's absolutely free in 2024. I'm not sure if it'll be free beyond this year. If it is, that'd be awesome. But if not, they'll probably have some type of a new system that'll allow people to pay in years moving forward. But yeah, definitely stay tuned. Who knows? I might try to maybe keep an eye on it. So that way, if it's free for 2025, I'll add a note in the comments or if it's going to be, or they're going to re-add a fee, then I might add a comment there as well. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video as we went along the Detroit People Mover here in downtown Detroit. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button. Uh, don't forget to click that subscribe button so that way you don't miss out any future adventures. Well, thank you for watching, and this is Scott, or the Scott Man, signing out here from downtown Detroit. But really quick, before you conclude the video, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to Patreon Mark Renker for your tremendous support on Patreon. Thank you so, so much. It is truly, truly appreciated.